Within a few short years, Hare, O Calcutta, and Jesus Christ Superstar had opened. The world was changing, and so was the theater. But this Broadway that had created Rodgers and Hammerstein, Irving Berlin, Ethel Merman, Brando, Sondheim, Lorette Taylor, Maine, and Tennessee Williams, what happened to it? I had an appointment with Richard Rodgers the day after Hare opened. He said, I think my kind of music is over. He said, look at the, look at the reviews this got. And I, he said, it's rock and roll now. And I said, no, what are you talking? Your kind of music will never be over, you know. But it was. I always felt that the demise of the big musical was when all the little group uh, shows were there. There were no choruses. There used to be singing choruses and usually 10 and 10, and dancing choruses usually 8 and 8. And because of West Side Story, I think they realized, well, well, dancers sing good enough, so now we don't have to have, we don't have to hire all those singers. They would get somebody who could dance a little, could sing a little, and act a little. Remember when the talkies came in and the, all the Hollywood stars, they had to learn to talk? Well, the dancers had to learn to sing. We had to learn to sing. In the 19th century in Italy, everybody was writing operas, wonderful operas. In America, we had the American theater, which is the only thing we invented in this country except jazz. And it's gone. Acting was different, and our attitude about art was different. Our attitude as a society toward culture itself was different. The whole thing was just more lush. Going to the theater is no longer just something you do. It's an event. You, for most people, you plan it, often a year in advance. You get tickets for whatever the big hit is, whatever is difficult to get tickets for. That's what you go to. Tickets are $100 a piece. If you take your wife, you've spent $200. God forbid you should have two kids who want to go to the theater. You've spent $400 to go to the theater. A hamburger is 25 bucks now. It's not 75 cents like it was in those days. You've spent $500 to have a bad night in the theater if it's a bad show. People pay far too much money to sit in an uncomfortable chair where they cannot smoke, drink, eat, scratch, cop a feel, or put their knees on the chair in front of them to not see something that's going to challenge them. You may do anything to an audience, but you may not bore them. But most shows get standing ovations because the audience wants to remind themselves that they're at a unique experience, particularly since they paid 100 bucks a ticket and uh, not to mention the babysitter. So they, they make it, so the only way to make the evening their evening is to stand and ovate it. It's their part, they're saying, I'm part of this evening. Once they, they added the tax and raised the prices for whatever it was that happened in New York at that time, you know, once you do that, you can never go back. And I, they should have because they're too high. In 1949, it cost more to see a, a, a first run movie on Times Square. It was $2 to see a movie, but it was only 85 cents to see a Broadway play. And the souvenir programs were a quarter. The theater wasn't a luxury. It was as natural to life to a New Yorker as breathing.